Hello! For this day, I only ate Nina Wong's recipes. I follow her now for a couple of years and I tried one recipe I saved up for a couple of years now. One viral recipe, one student meal and also one that she just eats in a week. In a realistic video she mentioned it once. So yeah, if you have any idea which content creator, food content creator recipes I should try next, let me know. I hope you enjoy! For breakfast we make lemon polenta broach. For that you need half a cup of polenta, half a teaspoon of lemon zest, or she said one teaspoon, vanilla, um, salt, raw sugar and non-dairy milk. I put all of this in a pot and brought it to a boil and after that I let it sit for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I heated up the berries. I added a little bit more water to make it creamier. And I served it up with soy yogurt, just like she did, and raspberries. Actually, I didn't blend it or crushed it, so I had whole raspberries. Oops. <laughs> Looks yummy. We are starting with this beautiful lemon polenta. Let's give it a taste. Can you see this? It's so creamy and lemony, just so fresh. Mmm, especially for the sunny day. Look at this sun! Yummy! For lunch, I made potato thyme and ginger soup. For that, um, you'll need two small onions, one inch piece ginger, olive oil, a handful of potatoes, one can of white beans, thyme twigs, I just used dry thyme, a splash of balsamic vinegar, a heaping tablespoon store-bought hummus, I didn't use a vegetable broth cube, just one teaspoon of vegetable powder, <laughs> and two to three cups of water. I just added two cups of water, but I think I need a little more. Let's give it a quick taste. Some salt. I didn't add much in the beginning. And also some peppermint. I like a lot. <laughs> it is very creamy. Oh my god! <laughs> Shoot. Here I have my soup. I potato white bean soup. Let's give it a try. You can really taste the balsamic vinegar. It's good. It's something different. I'm not used to put um, balsamic vinegar in my soups and I really don't eat that much of actually <laughs> for what it is. It's, it's okay, it's good. I'm not sure if I would do it again, maybe a little bit different, but yeah. It is what it is. It's simple and it has some protein and I think it it is also filling because of the potatoes. But if you're craving a delicious, superb soup, 
then maybe you look for something else. I mean, it's not promising you the best soup. Oh, it's just soup. I also have it with a slice of this pure whole grain thing bread because I still have it. And you need bread with soup. It's law. For the cookie dough I have small cut oats, raw sugar, vanilla, white beans, melted vegan butter, maple syrup and some oat milk. I will mix this all up. Oh God! Oops. <laughs> I don't have any chocolate chips, so I will just use this piece of chocolate. Wow, <laughs> looks so yummy. <laughs> Let's clean this up. Mm. I don't have any chocolate to put on top. Fuck. Maybe some cacao nibs. How pretty. <laughs> Hi, cookie dough is ready. Didn't try it yet. Let's give it a taste. Damn. Actually, it's not that bad. <laughs> I guess it's because we use real sugar and also the vanilla aroma. Vanilla aroma. Yeah, it's sweet. <laughs> I mean, it's not real cookie dough, but I cannot taste the bean. So I would say give it a try. If you like cookie dough, it's a great snack. For dinner, we made tofu tikka masala. For this you'll need a chica spice and I mix this mixed it myself in the morning. And also I prepared the tofu to marinate for like five hours or so. For the tofu I had to cut up two to three spring onions, one block of plain tofu, two to three tablespoons of unsweetened soy yogurt, one and a half tablespoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of olive oil and one and a half teaspoon of tikka spice mix. For the sauce in the evening, I sauteed some onion, garlic, ginger, the tikka spice, and then I added the crushed tomatoes. And meanwhile, I also sauteed the marinated tofu to add later. Brought that to a boil for 20 minutes and afterwards I added a can of coconut milk and I also blended it up to make it even creamier.
It's really hot. Hot, hot, hot. <coughs> oh god. Okay, it's really spicy. But obviously it's because of my spice blend. And also you need a lot of pans. Pans and pots. I think next time I wouldn't use fat reduced coconut milk. Then it would be even creamier. But I would blend it uh, and I like to blend it. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yes, <laughs> you need the lemon. I'm not sure if she mentioned it. Yes, of course. <laughs> she all she also thickened it with um, cornstarch, but I didn't do that because I didn't add that much water. So I think the consistency is all right. Of course, it's still a sauce, but cornstarch, cornstarch. <laughs> Cornstarch isn't necessary in my case. Yeah, happy. Happy, happy, happy. This was my day of just eating Nina Worms recipe. And I think my favorite one was, was the cookie dough. It surprised me. Maybe you can tell me whose recipes I should try next. And otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye bye.